Hey guys, ECRG here, and today we're going to be talking about how I keep track of my expenses while I travel. Hey guys, ECRG here, and today we're going to be talking about how I keep track of my expenses while traveling. Today we're talking about your business expenses, and you need to keep do a good job of keeping these separate from your personal expenses. So what I like to do is whether you're using a business card from your uh, place of employment where they give you a, a business credit card where you put all your transactions on there, or you're using your personal card and having them reimburse you later. But what you want is to be able to easily separate out what was your business expenses and what was your personal expenses. So I, first of all, if, if I'm going to be doing the reimbursement method, I need to make sure that I have another card I can use so it's more, so it's more easily distinguishable what is business and what is personal. So during that, let's say I'm going on a two day trip and I'm using my personal card, I'm the personal expenses I'm going to put on a different card, even if it's my debit card. Because I do not want to confuse those expenses. Uh, so I want to keep that in mind as well when I'm traveling. The second thing I do is make sure you keep all receipts. Now, it is up to company policy whether you need an itemized receipt or you just need a receipt in general. I've worked with companies in the past and they require itemized receipts. So you need to make sure that you ask for an itemized receipt. Usually places you go say you're you know go grab breakfast at McDonald's or something they typically give you a itemized receipt so it's usually not an issue what you, but it is an issue sometimes when you notice that you don't have an itemized receipt and then you go to get reimbursed and there's all there's problems all of a sudden so I would get in the habit of getting itemized receipts because those are typically better um, it would also depends on your company's policy your company's travel policy I know many companies that also just do per diem. So, you know, you spend you spend that much money on food at a restaurant or something. It doesn't matter what what it was spent on. It just un under that amount, say it's $50, under $50, they're not even going to check. They just it just is what it is. So, it's up to company policy how strict you have to be with the itemized receipt versus non-itemized receipt, but you know, if it's not clear, I would edge toward the itemized receipt. So it's clear and there's no, there's no reason why they can't reimburse you because sometimes people have issues with that. So you want to get all your receipts and you want to be able to keep them handy for when you have to write your expense report. So what I typically do is I grab the receipt and I immediately put it in a pocket in my backpack. And that way I don't forget it somewhere or mess it up with my food or anything like that. I get the receipt and I immediately put it in all of them in the same compartment so that keeps them safe that keeps them from not getting lost which is very important because if you don't have a receipt then it's gonna be hard for your company to want to reimburse you unless you have a clear path like you're on your credit card statement where you're only using that company's uh, you're using the credit card for the company or you're only using that card for that period of time on company things so I've seen before, let's say you've forgotten a receipt and you're using the company card, usually things are fine because you're using the company card for it and it's obvious what you spent it on. So that's that's a backup, but obviously you want the receipt first. And that's the most important thing to keep in mind when you're keeping track of your expenses while traveling. Uh, no, no real magic there, just make sure you keep your receipts because I've come into problems before with not having a receipt and you know there could be issues there with getting any types of reimbursement from your company so that's pretty much it guys no rocket science here just wanted to give you guys an update here because i will be traveling soon i thought it'd be good to do a video on uh you know how i keep track of my expenses while i'm traveling so if you guys have any other tips down below on how you keep track of your expenses while you travel put them down there as well Email us at eliteclinicalgroup at gmail.com for any inquiries or just want to stop by and say hello or want to connect or something like that. And that's it, guys. Take care.